So for this weighted voting system, let's find the Shapley-Schubert power index. So for this power index, uh, we look at sequential coalitions instead of, uh, regular coalitions. So we look at pivotal players and look at how many times each player is pivotal. So first thing we need to do is list all the sequential coalitions. In other words, we need to list all the players in all possible permutations, or in other words, in all possible order. So let's see here, we got P1, P2, P3. We got P1, P3, P2. We have P2, P1, P3. And we've got P2, P3, P1. We have P3, P1, P2, and P3, P2, P1. Uh, excellent. So there is all of our sequential coalitions, and now we're going to determine which player is pivotal in each of these coalitions. So here, player 1 would have weight of 4, add 3 more, gets us up to 7, and now it's a winning coalition. So player 2 here is our pivotal player. P1, P3, P2. So player 1 has a weight of 4, add player 3 with a weight of 2, gets us up to 6. So player 3 here is pivotal. Here, player 2, uh, has a weight of 3, add player 1 who has a weight of 4, gets us up to 7. Player 1 is pivotal. Uh, here, player 2 plus player 3 has a weight of 5. That's not yet a winning coalition, so we have to wait for player 1. And now we reach quota. Here, player 3 has a weight of 2, add player 1 with a weight of 4 gets us up to 6. That is now a winning coalition. Here, player 3 plus player 2 is a weight of 5, not enough. Add player 1 gets us up to a weight of, uh, gets us up to reaching quota. So now let's count how many times each player is pivotal. Player 1 is pivotal 4 times, player 2 once, player 3 once, add those up is 6. Uh, and now we can convert these into either fractions or, or percents. So P1 is pivotal 2 thirds of the time, and player 1 and player 3 are both pivotal 1 sixth of the time, or about 66.7%, 16.7%, and 16.7%. And that is the Shapley-Schubert power index for this weighted voting system.